Hi guys, Enter the Stars. And yesterday we discovered that the monarch butterfly was named after the tribe of Dan. Now this is indisputable. So we've done more research on the tribe of Dan in the Dan rabbit hole. What we realized is that history tells us more about these ancient Danites. At the time of about Moses, when he led the children out of Israel with the kingdom of Egypt, left in shambles, some chose not to follow Moses into the land of Canaan. About 1500 BC, a last flowering of megalithic culture occurred. On the island of Sardinia in the Mediterranean Sea, a tower building people, sometimes called Shardana, emerged and soon dominated Sardinia and then invaded Corsica and the Balearics and ruled them for about a thousand years. These were the ancient Danites. Their very name identifies them. They gave their name to their island, Sardinia, and their very name, Shardana, proves who they really were. This is fascinating. Now, we're going to go to the island of Sardinia, and what I found was amazing. There are a list of tombs called the Giant's Tombs, and in identifying, or the Giant's Graves, and in identifying these graves, I found a grave in the city of Dorgali called Ene Tomes and this grave is fascinating let's take a look now this grave is aligned exactly to 88.88 degrees but that is not the only thing that tells us about this grave when I plotted the actual coordinate of the grave it came out to 40 to 44.44 degrees north latitude that tells us that these giants actually had an affinity to this number eight and four there are many of them and these are just the major ones now this tomb at Cana is 15 feet long. Look at this. This is simply amazing. Anyone tells you that giants did not walk the earth, you can show them this information. This tomb was 15 feet long. What we're also going to look at here is the alignment that we see of most of these graves. We're going to zoom out here and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Now again, this is the island of Sardinia, and as you can see, many of these graves fall in this alignment. Now it's not a perfect alignment, but one thing I can tell you is that it is pointing due north at 180 degrees. This one at Sodome Soorku City is 36 feet long and it's at 140 degrees. Here's another, the tomb of San Cosimo. And uh, as you can tell, they all share the same pattern, this semicircle with a, uh, an oval behind it. This particular one is oriented northbound. Once again, it's not exactly 180 degrees, but it's very close. This one measures 55 feet in length. Very large people. This was the very first one that I checked because it was shown down here in the image gallery. So naturally, I checked it and I just knew in my heart it would come out to 88.88 degrees. And sure enough, it did. Why? Because when you know truth, you know it. Now here is the tomb. Um, Google Earth does not give us a really good picture of it. But this, these are some 3D models. And here is the tomb. Look at the size of this tomb, you guys. That would hold a giant. I don't understand why they don't ex excavate this or do some underground sonar readings to see what is under there. This is a massive structure. This is another one, and we'll look at this one as well. And if you see the entrance there, a person can fit through that. 
So that gives you an idea of the mass scale of these structures. Why archaeologists have not descended on these sites and looked at these things is beyond me. But I can tell you that it was very hard to find out information about this tomb and its exact location. I found only one site that had the coordinates, otherwise I would have never found exactly where it is. Once again, this little doorway here is where a human could walk through. So this gives you an idea of the scale of this particular tomb. My guess is this tomb points to maybe another tomb. Who knows? Or maybe some other megalithic sites. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you guys. Take care and be safe.